Meanwhile, Ukraine is in fact urging the members of the United Nations Security Council that it is important that the issue of Donetsk and Lugansk needs to be addressed. Now, this, remember, is a crucial issue that Ukraine wants the Western nations to in fact focus on. It wants to discuss a vote by Russia's parliament which has urged President Putin to recognize the rebel-held areas in eastern Ukraine as independent states. The 15-member council was already due to meet later in the day today to discuss on the ongoing crisis and also the Minsk agreements which the UNSE has endorsed in 2015. In a letter to the Security Council members, Ukraine's ambassador has called the move by the Russian parliament as a clear case of aggra aggravation and a violation of Ukraine's territorial integrity and also the global security architecture. The Kremlin-backed rebels have been fighting a war against Ukraine in the Donbas region. Donetsk and Luhansk collectively are known as Donbas. And this is a crisis that's been ongoing since 2014. In 2014, remember, Russia had annexed Crimean Peninsula. Moscow threw its weight behind a separatist insurgency in Ukraine's eastern industrial heartland, that is the Donbas region. More than 14,000 people so far have been killed in the fighting. On Tuesday, Russia's parliament had urged Vladimir Putin to recognize these regions as completely independent and autonomous from Ukrainian control. Now, Russia argues that it is Kiev that is not following the Minsk agreements. The Kremlin leader said that Russia has considered the treatment of the ethnic Russian people in the Donbas region as a case of genocide. It is not clear as to how long the Kremlin will take to review the appeal if approved. The move could further inflame a wider standoff over a Russian military buildup. Recognition of the self declared Donetsk and the Luhansk People's Republics could, of course, kill the Minsk peace process in eastern Ukraine. The United Nations Security Council has met dozens of times already to discuss the ongoing crisis since Russia annexed Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula back in 2014. The Council, however, is toothless since it cannot take any action because Russia has a veto power along with France, Britain, China and the United States. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.